Long ago, a kingdom was cast into darkness. Its king and queen were cursed to a deep sleep. Their daughter, Princess Sophia, ascended the throne and brought hope to the kingdom. In her quest to awaken her parents from their slumber, Sophia learned of a powerful enchantress who could undo the spell. Alas, on her way to the Enchantress's lair at Sunhook Spire, she was beset by treacherous mercenaries. Can the young queen escape the mercenaries and get to Sunhook Spire safely? It was a daring move by a fearless queen. Sophia flew through the sky towards Sunhook Spire. Born without magic, she slipped through the barrier undetected and unharmed. Only the Sunhook Spire's formidable heights stood between her and her past. Captain Ironhoof and his mysterious companion watched Sophia with amusement. It was all going according to plan. It was a daring move by a fearless queen. Sophia's memories danced on the surface of the water. Her parents, the time they spent together, oh how she missed them. The memory on the water was faint. It concerned the Enchantress, a goblin, and a precious object. What could it have meant? Sophia rode the lift to meet the Enchantress, but the hooded creature was unfazed by the djinn's interference. Sophia was plunged into the depths of the spire can a mere human, born without magic, save herself? The king and queen stood upon the edge of the ship. Everything was in dismal silence. Their hearts broke as they left the dreamless castle, knowing their daughter was left to sleep for a hundred years. With the lift repaired, Sophia rode it once more, hoping to reach the peak of the spire. She held her breath as the platform shook to a stop. Did she finally make it? As Sophia freed the Enchantress, she heard a terrible laugh. It was Grimble. You fell for my plan, little queen. The Enchantress wasn't trapped. She was controlling the barrier outside. Without her, Sunhook Spire is now unprotected, and my ships can attack. The Gem of Power will soon be mine. Sophia saw the Enchantress with her apprentices, and then she understood. The apprentices had become the Jinns. Not a day went by that the king and queen did not think of Sophia. One day, they knew they would be reunited. Freed from its stone form, the griffin stood proudly before Sophia, ready to serve. Without hesitation, she flew back to face Grimble where it all began, the Black Bull. With a powerful roar, 
The dragon engulfed the black bull in flames. Out of control, the ship sped towards Sunhook Spire. Time stopped, and then a magnificent crash. Did anyone survive? And just like that, her parents were gone. Sophia knew what she had to do. She must defeat Grimble once and for all, knowing he would take her to Dreadmire. And as she set out for Redleaf Forest, she knew in her heart that someday she would see her parents again. As the blur became clearer, Sophia knew something was wrong, but it was too late. Suddenly, Dreadmire's hand came out of the memory fountain and dragged her in. In spite of Dreadmire's best efforts, Sophia made it through. And now, she had the key to defeating Grimble. As she set out for Redleaf Forest to find the Blade of Courage, she knew in her heart that someday she would see her parents again. <laughs>